is, this has been in the works for a while. I mean, a lot of people in the White House, even going back to Steve Bannon's tenure, uh, would talk about how Michael Wolff was in there and interviewing and had, had access to people, I think in particular – uh, Kellyanne Conway and, and, and Steve Bannon. And just judging from the excerpts that were published this morning, uh, I think the reason it's caused such a reaction in the White House and such a reaction from Trump is that it portrays Trump as being stupid. And that is uh, the, the, the ultimate sin in the eyes of Donald Trump. And I think why uh, the White House just fired out this statement attacking Steve Bannon personally. Josh, I'm in the middle of your book, Devil's Bargain. Great book, by the way. You mentioned how Steve Bannon has praised President Donald Trump. Their whole relationship was based on the fact that they were quite close. And that sort of led to the momentum of President Trump getting elected as president of the United States. What happened? Well, they, they, they essentially failed once they got into office. I mean, Bannon was very good at um, helping Trump to channel his message during the campaign, especially it had to pick apart uh, Hillary Clinton and, and damage her reputation in a way that I think redounded to Trump's electoral benefit. The problem, though, was that neither Trump nor Bannon uh, nor many of the people in, in, the, in the earliest iteration of the West Wing had any experience in governing. And so almost immediately... Uh, the Trump presidency got off to a very rocky start that's really only recovered from in the last month or so with the passage of the tax reform bill. But as we can see from, uh, you know, Trump's tweeting these last few days and for this volcanic statement attacking Steve Bannon, the House, I think, still remains far from normal. So, so, Josh, it strikes me that it wasn't just Steve Bannon, the man, but there also was an entire Internet group behind him, including Breitbart News, which has been very, very important uh, in, in this campaign and in the administration. Is this a severance with Breitbart News as well? But, you know, that's a great question. And the one thing we don't know is that there'd never really been a public break between Trump and Bannon before now. Trump had on occasion, you know, criticized him or belittled him in the press. Uh, but not in a very serious way. And Trump has continued to talk to and be influenced by Bannon throughout his presidency, including after he fired Bannon. Uh, you know, Bannon was one of the people instrumental in getting Trump to endorse Roy Moore during the recent Alabama Senate race, getting him to come down and campaign for Moore. Right. Of course, Moore lost and embarrassed both Bannon and the president. Right. Uh, so I think the bad feelings uh, between Trump and Bannon had been building up for a while, certainly on Trump's part, you know, and now with the unhinged criticism of, of his children, of his son-in-law that we get in these book excerpts, I think that was the final straw for the president.